dash oh one hey our veterinary clinic matt that would be yours switching media again okay uh, and wow my back faster than that all right, this is the um, next two items for the city of Mayhara. They were both variance requests. This first one is variances to the Gateway Port or Overly District of Mayhara. It's request by Jimmy Cohn on behalf of the Mayhara Veterinary Clinic um, for several variances um, listed there on the first page of your staff report. And these are Overly District items that involve the front yard building setback which in the overlay district is a minimum of 15 feet and a maximum of 75 feet. Um, the existing building is 128 feet back, so it's beyond the maximum limit. Streetscape standards uh, for parking, the requirement is no more than 50% of the front yard shall consist of parking. And it's slightly more than that, but based on a lot of driveways that are in the area. So another streetscape standard is that of sidewalks, run up for parcel access where a given property should connect with surrounding properties with the sidewalk. And sign illumination is the next one. It's an existing sign that is internally lit. The overlay district requirements are for externally lit signage. And then in a parcel access, which connects with the sidewalk issue. As pointed out in the report, it talked about at the work session, the vet clinic was built several years before the adoption of the overlay district. So it predates that. Um, the clinic is proposing to undergo an expansion of at least 50 percent. That is more than enough to trigger full compliance with the overlay district. And it is the first property in Hayhara that has tripped the trigger. Everything else in the overlay district has been new construction from scratch and has followed the overlay district requirements or sought and received a few variances. The most notable example here is the, Hay, uh, the Harvey's Grocery Store shopping center across the street which actually came through forbearances, I think, two months after the overlay district was adopted, and some similar requests and some similar parallels here. The Harvey's was granted a variance for increased setback from the road for the grocery store. Um, part of the mitigation of that is two out parcels that would comply with the overlay district. They were also approved a variance for um, not having to connect by sidewalk, um, but that was it. Everything else they complied. Um, in this case, it's existing development. What the trigger is is a kennel facility on the back side of the building. Um, I'll see any of units is another one where the percentage is a little bit too high. Um, if there were an expansion toward the road, it would be reducing a nonconformity and it would not be a variance requirement. But the kennel in front of this clinic does not make sense. So this is going behind where you cannot see it. That is the currently proposed expansion. The applicant also has a future proposed expansion, which you see on the site plan along the west wall of the building. They would add some more clinic space for exam rooms and I think some administrative area. That is contemplated as a future. I'd ask the applicants to go ahead and show that on the site plan so that expansion in the future can be wrapped into the review for this one. Um, staff is recommending approval of all of these variances as presented based on the site plan that is in your do we have any questions for the staff or commissioners? <coughs> Let's see. Questions. Okay. So you're saying that everything that's in place is good. I just want to clarify about the signage and everything. You're all good with it. I'm good with the sign because it's existing. Okay. And so as long as that sign stays there, a uh, very good attractive sign. It was actually used as a basis for the sign rays of the overlay district. The only difference is it's internally lit instead of externally. The Harvey sign across the street is externally lit. That's the difference. Okay, but you're good with that. Just keep We're good with that. There are other signs in the district that are far more non-conforming than this. <laughs> what? Such as with the next agenda. Right. Any other questions? All right. If not, I'll call for anyone in the audience wishing to speak on behalf of this request. Please come forward. Anyone in the audience wishing to speak on behalf of this request? Does the applicant not wish to speak? They are here, Madam Chairman. I think unless they have specific questions. Mr. Cohn, I know it's had a long day today. He's been in everything for all day. 